Hey everybody, I am so excited because I am bringing back a series I started earlier this year called How I Built Bits, but I've decided to make it more relevant for creators. So early in the early days of How I Built It, actually for a long time, I talked to WordPress developers and WordPress business owners. As I pivoted this show, to talk more to creators, I thought I could bring uh, in a, a new version of the show called How I Built Bits, where I extracted nuggets of information from the last almost 300 episodes. But as I started to do that, I realized that a lot of the great advice I got was specifically for WordPress developers. And while there are lots of nuggets in there, I thought I could better use my time and efforts in this show to surface tools and interesting workflows for creators. And I'm so excited because in this inaugural relaunch, I guess, of How I Built Bits, uh, which is also in, in the normal How I Built It feed, so you'll get all of these episodes no matter which one you're subscribed to. Um, I, am, I am happy to say that this episode is brought to you by Groundhog, and that's who we're going to talk about today. And I'm... I brought on Groundhog as a sponsor for this episode because I think it's a really neat way to bridge the gap between kind of what this show used to be and, and what it is now. Because yes, Groundhog is a WordPress-based tool and they talk to WordPress businesses, but it is such a great tool rooted in what a lot of creators need, which is funnels, email campaigns, and marketing automation. Uh, but there is a big twist on Groundhog. And so that is, that's why Groundhog is presenting this episode. And that's why I want to tell you about Groundhog in this first episode. Uh, so you can find a link to the YouTube channel in the show notes uh, for this over at howibuilt.it slash bits, howibuilt.it slash bits. It'll also be in your podcast player. So let's talk about uh, why I like Groundhog. First of all, I've known Adrian, the founder of Groundhog, for a long time. He was on this show um, a couple of years ago, I think now, so I'll be sure to link that in the show notes as well. But uh, there are a couple of really great things about Groundhog. So like, if you're running your whole business through a WordPress site, let's say you have a WooCommerce store or a Paid Memberships Pro store, um, and you want your marketing automation to be a part of that without having to integrate with third-party tools, uh, Groundhog exists as a WordPress plugin. And so um, you can integrate with, uh, with the tools like uh, WooCommerce or LearnDash, Lifter LMS, Easy Digital Downloads. These are all... Um, integrations that they have seamless integration with over 25 plugins and services woocommerce member press edd uh, affiliate wp wp forms so there's lots of stuff and then there's zapier of course but if you are using any one of these tools uh then you have direct integration without having to worry about connecting things because let me tell you i've tried uh doing integrations in the past and if you don't properly test or set them up appropriately uh, bad things will happen and so having to take out that step of connecting to a third-party service uh, is it could be really powerful so I think that if, if you're interested in that Groundhog is the perfect tool for that um, you can build funnels write and send emails um, manage your contacts through custom fields and agencies can white label, which I think is pretty cool. That's, you know, this is not necessarily a WordPress agency podcast, but um, if you are an agency or you're working with a bunch of different creators, say, uh, then you can white label it. But here's where uh, I think Groundhog really takes the cake versus some of these other ESPs, right? They say right here that uh, they won't hit you with a success tax. So if you pay 50 bucks a month, you'll get all of the integrations 
and y it will always be 50 bucks a month, right? This is something frustrating about the other ESPs, the other ESPs. And I will say it makes sense, right? I, it, there's no there's no secret that I'm a huge ConvertKit fan. I use ConvertKit personally. Um, there's no secret in that. But, you know, it's a little bit frustrating when once you get to 1,001 subscribers, or 3,001 subscribers that you experience a significant increase in cost. And the idea is that maybe you make money with your list and that's how it's justified, but it's nice to not be afraid of growth, right? With Groundhog. So if that's something you're interested in too, I think that Groundhog is a really great tool. So um, that's the thing I think is coolest about groundhog is that you're not hit with a success tax uh, so let's to round out this episode let's go through some of the features um it's a crm something i don't really do super well is a crm um i love the idea of a crm certainly but i don't use it properly uh, and the fact that Groundhog is a CRM as well as sales automation and email automation uh, is a powerful thing, right? Because I, I am in ConvertKit multiple times a day. If I was in a CRM as often as I was in ConvertKit, I would use the CRM constantly, right? Uh, but I'm not. I'm not good at keeping track of things like that. If I had a system like Groundhog, which connected to my e-commerce store and, uh, you know, with sales automations, potential coaching leads, um, that could be really, really powerful if if my creator business was focused on that. And so it's a CRM. You can do contact management, activity tracking, company records. I like that they have birthdays here. On their site, it says birth, keep track of a contact's birthday. This sounds glib, but it could be really important for two reasons, right? Um, maybe you offer a discount on their birthday, 10% discount. Happy birthday, here's 10% or 20%. Um, but also, if you are using this as a CRM to track clients or, or potential um, coaching uh, or students or something like that, Knowing their birthday is a nice touch, right? Because then you can send them an email automatically on their birthday that says, hey, I just wanted to wish you, th this is not a sales email or anything. It's, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I hope you're having a great day. And that's a really nice personal touch. Uh, so there's also sales automation so you can create a pipeline. In Plus, they have a booking calendar, which is cool, right? This is uh, something that I use Calendly for, but there's a booking calendar here. And I should say like, I use Zapier to connect all of these things, right? If you don't want to use Zapier, which is expensive, right? And scary. I pay as much for Zapier as Groundhog costs, right? So um, if if I want to switch over to Groundhog, I'd, I'd save a significant amount of money actually. Um, so booking calendar allows you to book and then tag people based on how they've booked, right? And so you can send them emails based on that. If somebody books a free 15 minute coaching call with me, maybe I put them in a sales sequence or an email sequence that says, Hey, I really hope you enjoyed it. Just following up. Do you have any more questions? By the way, I have a four week coaching program. I think you'd be perfect for. You can uh, collect payments, send and sign contracts. I mean, this really is an all in one solution on top of WordPress that talks to your store or your membership site and it does a really great job of a lot of things so you know in the past i've talked about how i don't really like all-in-one solutions but as the expectation for creators and small business owners gets uh higher in the in the sense that we should know more about our customers our students, our buyers, our leads, an all-in-one solution may be your best bet, right? Because I'll tell you, every time I set up a, a new product in ConvertKit, 
I have to wait until somebody buys that product to set up the new automation. That's not the case with Groundhog, right? Groundhog is right there with whatever you're selling. So it can tell and you don't need to worry about that. Um, you can tie automations and marketing to, to products. There's a lot of integrations. And so, yes, this episode is brought to you by Groundhog. But if you've been listening for a long time, you know that I don't, I don't talk about products that I don't think are good. Groundhog, it says it right here on their website, best in class CRM and marketing automation features. This is unlike any other WordPress plugin I've seen. And so kudos to, uh, to Adrian and the Groundhog team. I think it's great. I want to thank them for their support. But I would encourage you to go check out Groundhog. And uh, I'll leave you with this. If you click the link in the description for this episode, uh, you can uh, get 20% off if you use the code How I Built It. That's How I Built It, all one word, all caps. You can get 20% off your first year. So check it out. They offer a free trial too. So, like, free trial, 20% off. I say go for it. It's a really great all-in-one tool. If you're looking for any one of those features, it's definitely worth the free trial. So thanks to Groundhog for sponsoring this show, but also thanks to Groundhog for making such a great tool for small businesses, agencies, and creators. Because creators, uh, I'll leave you with this, actually. Uh, I just did Justin Moore's Brand Deal Wizard cohort, and one of the last things that he he taught us was creators are agencies. If you're working with brand deals, you're doing client work. If you're creating content for other people, you're doing client work. If you're coaching people, you're doing client work. And you need a good CRM and you need uh, automations in place and tagging in place, especially if you're a one person show. Something like Groundhog is invaluable to you and your business. I promise you. Because as a guy who has set up all of these automations with Zapier, connecting a bunch of tools, I wouldn't be where I am today without those things. And the fact that you can get all of that all in one with Groundhog for 50 bucks a month, I think that's that's huge, right? You're, that's an employee that you don't have to hire. So there you go. That's it for this episode of How I Built Bits. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you did or if there's a problem you're trying to solve through a tool uh, I want to help you with that. That's what How I Built Bits is about. It's about uh, surfacing the right tools, right? The right drill bits for building your creator business. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks to Groundhog again. And until next time, get out there and build something. <laughs>